everyone, welcome to PMT College powered by Professional Music Technology. My name's Lee Fuge and I'm here with MGRmusic.com and today I want to show you five really cool rock licks that you can start using in your lead playing today. So today I'm using my old Epiphone Les Paul which as you can see has been around the block a little bit, it's uh, got a bit of wear and tear and it served me well over the years. I'm plugged into a cool amplification 1984 which is a sort of a hot rodded plexi kind of amp and I've got a tube screamer on the floor as well just to give me a little bit of extra gain. So before we get started I want to show you the scales that I'm using to create these licks. Now in the last video we talked about the minor pentatonic scale and we talked about it in two positions in the key of A minor which is from the fifth fret. Now today we're doing these in the key of E minor so we're taking that scale shape and we're shifting it up to the twelfth fret. Now we're doing three variations on the scale today, so we've got the first shape, the second shape and the third shape. Now the minor pentatonic has five shapes in total, but for today we're just going to need the first three. So here are those shapes. So our first shape starts on the 12th fret of the E string. Our second shape starts on the 15th fret of the E string. And our third shape starts up at the 17th fret on the E string. I've also created a backing track to go with these licks. The link for the backing track will be in the blog. Now what you guys can do is you can use this backing track to play these licks over but you can also come up with some of your own. Please use the backing track and send in your videos of you playing these licks. It would be really cool to see how you guys interpret some of these patterns over the track and just have fun with it. Enjoy the track, it's there to be used. Okay, so the first lick uses the first shape of the E minor pentatonic. We're going to start with what's called a unison bend. So in this case, I'm playing the 12th fret on the E string and the 15th fret on the B string together, which doesn't sound great on its own. But what I'm then doing is I'm bending the 15th fret up till it hits the same pitch as the 12th fret on the E string. Now in the lick, there's four of these together. After the unison bends then we've got a descending run down the first shape of the minor pentatonic scale. I'm using pull offs here and I'm also using a slide. The note that I slide is actually not in the pentatonic scale, it's actually a note from the blues scale. This second lick actually calls upon notes from the second shape of the minor pentatonic. I'm actually going to be doing quite a big stretch here from the 12 to the 17 on the E string too. So this is a great finger strength exercise. It'll really stretch your hands out and get used to some of those big gaps that you might come across in other lead guitar parts. This lick starts with a full step bend from the 15 to the 17 on the E string, followed by two pick notes on the E string. The next part of the lick is where the stretches come in. So I'm actually targeting some notes from the second shape of the minor pentatonic here. I'm doing some stretches from the 12 to the 17 on the E string, so we'll be needing that little finger to make those stretches work. We're going to be starting off with two 12th fret notes right before the first beat. These are two 16th notes at the end of the previous bar. The repeated pattern then involves a pull off at the start of each beat, followed by a note on the B string and another note on the E string. The note that I pull off from on the E changes, so it's the 17th fret, the 15th fret and back to the 17th fret. The final little run of this lick is a double pull off from the 15 to the 14 to the 12 of the E string, followed by a note on the B and a note on the E string to end. So this third lick's a fun one, we're using what's called a pedal note. In this case, it's the high E string. 
So a good way to visualize the speed of this lick is to imagine that I'm picking two bars of straight 16th notes on just the E string. So that's four per beat. What I'm doing in the first bar is I'm adding a fretted note on the first 16th note of each beat. So in the first bar it's 12, 14, 15, 17, like so. So in the second half of this lick, I'm still playing straight 16th notes with my pick, but now I'm fretting a note twice as often, so on the beat and on the end of each beat. There are still two 16th notes as open strings either side of every pick note, but I'm just playing the pick notes twice as frequent. So I'm moving around a little bit more now, calling upon notes from the first and the second shape. I'm also dropping down to the 10th fret, which is technically the fifth shape, but that's the only time we need that note, so we don't need to worry about that just yet. This fourth lick is not too difficult to play, but the timing is a little tricky. So every single repeat of this, there's three repeats in total, start with a slide up to the 12th fret on the B string right before the one beat. So if you imagine the 16th notes from the bar before, 4 E and A, uh, on the A uh is where we do the first slide. First and third repeats involve a bend from the 14th fret on the E string just up half a step to the 15th. The second repeat, the one in the middle, is the 15th fret as a full step bend up to the 17th. The final lick is an ascending lick. So we're going up the first shape of the pentatonic scale here. We're actually playing straight 16th notes for the first three beats, but we're doubling up on every note. So I'm playing each fret twice on the ascending run. On the fourth beat, I'm doing a quick hammer on pull off from the 12 to the 14 on the G, followed by the 14th fret on the D and the 12th on the G. So here's that run all together. Be sure with the hammer on and pull off to really flick through it. You don't want to hang on it too much. It's, it's basically a triplet note that stems across the first half of the fourth beat. Back half of this lick is a three string lick which starts with a full step bend on the 14th fret of the G, followed by a quick descend from the 12th of the E and a pull off on the 15th to the 12th of the B. And the lick then ends with two unison bends just like the first lick started. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these licks and I really hope you enjoy using the backing track that I created as well to go with this. Please let us know what you think of the backing track. We'd love to see some videos of you guys playing some of your own licks over them as well as the licks featured in this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to PMTV UK for more free guitar videos like this. And if you're looking for professional guidance, please check out mgrmusic.com. We've got a network of great teachers all over the country. The chances are there's one right up your street. So please check out the website and let us know if we can help you on your guitar journey. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.